On May 13th, OpenAI had a big announcement of this new model, GPT-4 O, which stands for Omni Model or GPT-4 Omni, as a lot of people are calling it. Uh, and they're giving this to free users. So a lot of people are confused and they're saying, okay, well, why would I pay $20 a month for a chat GPT plus account if I get access to this newest model with the free account? Those are all great questions. So stick with me for about ah, five to seven minutes. And I'm going to go through the big differences between the free version of chat GPT with this new announcement of GPT 4.0 and the paid version of chat GPT plus. All right. Uh, this is going to hopefully settle a lot of confusion, but if you're new here, let me tell you what this is. This is our AI in five segment. So with everyday AI, we do a daily live stream podcast and free daily newsletter. And every single day, almost we do a tutorial that gives you a tip or trick or technique on how to better use generative AI. So, uh, please subscribe to this channel, like the video and go to your everyday and sign up for the free daily newsletter. All right. So let's jump back in and talk about some of the differences between free and paid. So let's start with this. The only thing that the free version, the, the free users are going to get access to is the base model itself. None of the additional features and functionality that OpenAI demoed, the things that actually stole the show. Free users get access to none of that. Uh, so let's just quickly go over the difference between uh, ChatGPT, the free version, uh, over here on the left-hand side and the right-hand side, ChatGPT+. Plus. So cost, obviously free versus $20 a month. Limits, uh, the free version is going to be much more limited and throttled. OpenAI said that uh, paid users of ChatGPT Chat GPT Plus will have five times the amount of usage. They didn't say exactly what that would be right now as of today. Uh, the limit for Chat GPT Plus is 40 messages every three hours. Unless you have a Teams account, which we do, then it's double that. So the strengths of these different plans. Well, the strength of the free plan is the cost. It's free. Uh, but that's really all. So uh, the strengths of the, the paid plan is you have this new, uh, what I would say is this live AI assistant or AI agent that can help you. So this is what OpenAI demoed. We'll leave uh, links to those videos, but essentially where it can see uh, whatever it is you're seeing. It can see you. It can read your facial expressions, uh, very emotive in the way that it talks to you. Uh, you can use your front-facing camera as an example and be working on a math problem, and it can see and interact with you live. We kind of call that live omnivision. They didn't give it a name. That's just what we're calling it. But that is only for the paid plan, um, as well as this kind of agent assistant in the desktop app, right? So uh, it, the ability to launch it, and essentially with one click or one keyboard command, you can literally share anything that you're working on with the ChatGPT desktop app and instantly have access uh, to this kind of live voice assistant or this live model, right? You don't have any of that in the free plan. All you have access to is GPT-4. Oh, you don't have access to anything else. All right. So a couple of the other integrations that are for paid plans only. So we talked about uh, kind of this live Omnivision in the uh, iPhone app, the desktop app, uh, which is you know coming soon, but, uh, I think only to uh, Mac, at least early on, uh, building GPTs. So a big Part of the a new addition to the free plan is you can use custom GPTs, which is huge. I think in the long term, this is a user play. It's an SEO play. It's a data play. That's an episode for another day. But you can only build custom GPTs if you have a paid ChatGPT Plus account. Uh, also, you do not, you only have access to the cross chat memory feature on a paid plan, and you only have uh, access to custom instructions on a paid plan. You do not have those on the free plan. Also, we don't know if you will be able to upload anything in the free version of ChatGPT. Uh, obviously, in the paid version, you kind of have this ability to interact with live video, and you can upload a variety of different formats to interact with ChatGPT, such as PDFs, spreadsheets, JPEGs, et cetera. The knowledge cutoff is actually the same for both. It actually rolled back two months uh, from the normal GPT-4 Turbo model uh, from December 2023, and it rolled back to October 2023. So right now with GPT-4.0, it'll have the same knowledge cutoff. Obviously, you can get around that a little bit uh, with the GPTs. Uh, we also don't know if... Uh, as an example, we don't know if the free version uh, is going to have access to browse with Bing. Presumably it will, since I think this is ultimately a user play, a search play. Uh, so I, I think, uh, but it wasn't explicitly announced. Also, the memory will presumably be uh, the same. That's been announced. It hasn't been confirmed. Uh, you know, in November, uh, you know, OpenAI said that... Uh, Chat GPT would get the full capabilities of GPT-4 Turbo, which included 128,000 token memory. It didn't. That was only in the API. Uh, Chat GPT itself only had 32K memory. So we'll see actually if uh, both versions do get that 128K memory. All right. So that is the high level overview. But let me tell you where we stand right now. 
So where we stand right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, share my screen. Obviously, I have a couple of different accounts. So here is a free account. So right now, there is only the free version, 3.5. Uh, 3 so right now, no one, if you are, well, not no one, but uh, they haven't done a broad rollout of this GPT-4.0 for free plans yet, okay? So you only have access to 3.5 or the option to upgrade. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look inside uh, a paid account here. Let's go ahead and bring the correct one up. All right, there we go. So uh, here you can see uh, in my paid account, you do have access to GPT-4.0 as well as GPT-4, GPT-3.5, uh, the ability to have uh, temporary chats, although that is also available in the free plan right now. So uh, right now, that is all I have access to. I don't think anyone else has access to uh, some of these new things that we talked about, uh, such as the desktop app, um, the uh, kind of this live omnivision within the iPhone app. So right now, it's only the GPT-4.0 base model that has gone out to paid users. Presumably soon, that would be going out to free users. So uh, here's here's a couple other kind of hot takes to end. Um, I do believe that we will be getting, uh, paid users will be getting a more powerful model than Four O. Uh, it's it's. I would say it's. I'm not going to say it's a done deal, but it's probably a done deal. Uh, you know, mainly they rolled back the knowledge cutoff, and also um, it was confirmed by multiple members of OpenAI that this uh, GPT two uh, chatbot that they previewed in the chatbot arena was actually GPT four O. And guess what, y'all? They previewed two other models. They previewed three in total, right? So uh, presumably they have another version that will go to the higher tier, right? Otherwise, you know, there's a lot of people that might not know any better, that might not listen to this full video and be like, oh, I'm just going to leave. Well, I, I do believe, well, I mean, whether that's in, you know, two months or, you know, 10 months, I don't know that. But I do believe that there will be a newer, more powerful, better version of GPT-4 you know, maybe it's GPT-4.0 too. Who knows what the naming will be? You know, maybe it'll be GPT-4.5.0. Uh, not sure, but I do believe that there will be a better and more powerful version of this new model coming to paid users soon. All right, I hope that was helpful. You can dispel the rumors, cut through the fluff. Make sure to join us every day. So go to youreverydayai.com. Check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Join us on the live stream on LinkedIn. Uh, thanks a lot, y'all. Hope this is helpful, and we'll see you back for another AI in 5. Thanks, y'all.